Guys, if you like making money, which I know you do, you do not want to miss this one. Guys, welcome to the Mr. Bubbles channel where we dish out amazing pressure washing business advice to beginners and today's episode uh we're going to be talking about customer service something i promised you guys that we were going to do a deeper dive we're actually doing a customer service top 10 top 10 like the top 10 things that you need to focus on in order to run an exceptional customer service within your company and i've mentioned this before guys you know if you look around your world customer service is dead like it's not dying it died a long time ago and you know everywhere we go whether it's uh, a convenience store uh, whether it's on a plane I mean it doesn't matter where you go it's just man you run into terrible customer service absolutely everywhere and especially it's really really where it's really hit hard is uh, in your big big box stores and your restaurants and things of that nature so anyway let's do a deep dive because again guys you know, something a lot of people ask me all the time is, you know, what's if 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 you were to say, what's the number one thing that would separate me from um, other pressure washing companies? I would say running a successful and uh, a thriving customer service, like exceptional customer service. If that part of your business is very successful and thriving, man you are really going to differentiate yourself from your competition. So let's get into this. Number one, I've talked a, a, a lot about on my channel is answering your phone. Guys, think about, you know, your own personal experiences. How many times have you called a place and they put you on one of those, you know, uh, waiting messages or you had to leave a message and then nobody got back to you? It's frustrating. Like, it's very 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 frustrating so you don't want to be one of those you want to make sure that you answer your phone and so you know what i suggest is this if you're getting less than 10 calls a day you know you don't need anybody to answer the phone for you if you're getting less than 10 calls a day like you can handle that on your own and even if you do miss a call just make sure you call the person back right away like like within minutes okay that's very important but here's what i'm gonna say now let's say you're getting uh, 20 25 phone calls a day but you're out there working and you can't be answering the phone because you know you're you're out there you know uh, doing house washes and exterior cleaning gutter cleaning whatever right what do you want to do is you want to get a va va stands for virtual assistant this is what i did i don't even know if i've mentioned this before actually on my channel but i did this for about six seven months i use a company i'll put their the link not the link but i'll put their names up here jill's office okay jill's office um again uh this is a company been around for a long time i'm not affiliated with them at all guys at all it's it just i'm um one of the companies that um they they specialize in this area right and i from what i remember from pricing now this was a long time ago i mean we're talking six years ago guys but their pricing uh man maybe it was five years ago it was you five six years ago but anyway their pricing is something like uh, it's going to be in that four to six hundred dollar range is what I remember. They charge by the call and by the minutes right now. It could be different. I haven't talked to them in a long time. But anyway, and there's other companies like it that you can research. But I know that there's a lot of guys in the industry that use Jill's office. And the way Jill's office works is they answer the phone as if they're you. And then they take the call and then they send you an email and a text notifying you that you know what it's all about. But anyway. And then eventually you want to get to the point where you have, you know, a person answering your phone, whether it's your wife, your girlfriend, a family member, or simply, you know, somebody that you hired. That's what we did. So the bottom line is, guys, just make sure you have a live person, a physical person answering the phone. It's really going to make a big difference. Number two on our list, guys, punctuality. Make sure you show up on time. We've talked a little bit about this the other day as well. You know, um... You don't want to build a, re a bad reputation. And we've been talking a lot about branding on a company, right? And branding is what you do to build a reputation. And you don't want to acquire a reputation that, you know, you are always late. You know, it's disrespectful to people because 
it tells them that your time is more important than theirs. And then, um, you know, it looks super professional when, you know, you show up when you're, you know, when you're at a place when you're supposed to be there, right? Now, you know, uh, we're, we don't always make it on time, but you want to make sure you communicate to people, you know, let them know, you know, you send a text, hey, I'm stuck in traffic, I'm going to be there X, Y, Z time. So the bottom line is try as much as possible to the to to the to to the second right and our thing is we try to be 10 or 15 minutes early if we can enough said about that number three on our list quality service this is another thing we talked about guys like it doesn't matter if you're going to run amazing customer service if you're doing a crappy job right if you're killing their bushes leaving streak streaks on your house or you know you leave and all the windows have chemical on them so you know make sure you do quality service because, you know, this is going to help you get more customers, by the way, because people will recommend you to their friends and loved ones and neighbors and, and, and so forth. So, you know, you don't want to upset people by breaking things or damaging their property. So make sure you're offering home protection, plant protection. Again, you can watch a lot of my house watch videos. We talk about that in great detail. And again, guys, doing quality work is going to come with experience, right? I always talk about this on my channel. Experience, chemical knowledge, and commercial grade equipment is what you need to succeed in the pressure washing business. But you want to make sure you take pride in what you do. What I would do is I, I, I would do multiple, multiple walk arounds, you know, um, make sure that you didn't miss anything and uh, be thorough. Be thorough with what you do and do great work. Number four on our list, something we've mentioned before as well. You want to make sure that you have a professional image, right? If you guys seen every single one of my house wash videos or, you know, when we're out there doing roofs or whatever, you guys always see myself or my guys on video. We're always wearing uniforms. All of our vehicles have uh, uh, well, all of our vehicles are wrapped. I understand, you know, most of you guys are not going to be able to afford that right away. But, you know, have marketing on your vehicle. Have, uh, you know, your profession, your equipment and your, and, your, and your rigs and your vehicle all looks professional. Like, I'll give you guys a great example. I remember this past year I did a house. And the guy, uh, he, he showed up to this person's house in this, like, weird minivan. The guy was wearing, um, uh, what are those things called? Uh, uh, sweatpants. I was going to say stretch pants, uh, sweatpants, and he had like a, like a wife beater. I mean, guys, like, what are we doing? Like, you know, you got to, if you want to make what professionals make, you got to look the part of a professional and play the part of a professional, right? So professional image is super important. And the other thing I'll say about that is, you know, make sure your online, online image is also very good, you know, with all your pictures, marketing, and everything matches the... The, the image that's on the ground as well. Number five on our list, guys, is something I don't think I have brought up on my channel before. Follow up with all of your customers, right? So, you know, um, one of the things we do that I've never heard anyone say is that, like, when we do roof cleaning, for example, we do a, a six-week and a six-month checkup. So we follow up with people. Hey, how's it looking? We're going to have our guy come by. We do that with roof. And then, you know, uh, every single customer that we get, we put into our CRM program. Again, CRM stands for Customer Relations Management. And again, we'll talk about that in another video. But the reason why I bring that up is this. We, we're in constant communication with our customers throughout the year and years, guys. Imagine this. You do a house wash. Then the person forgets about you. Then two, three years later, they need it again, but they can't remember who you are. They can't remember your name, right? Does this happen? Absolutely. And you guys are just, man, you guys are spinning your wheels losing customers. Make sure you're you're following up with customers every six to nine months. Hey, how's it going? I'm going to be in your neighborhood. You know, we're doing gutter cleaning this week. So they, they, they might say no, probably will say no at that moment. But then two years later, when they need a certain service, they're going to remember you because you're in constant communication with them and following up with them. So that's very important. And the other thing is this, guys. When you follow up with people, right, like we send out a crew, we call, hey, how was, you know, Joe Blow? And then they let us know how the, the, the people are doing. But then also when we get really good uh, feedback, it helps us to make our company better. And then also we drop them the, the link so they can, you know, write that feedback on, on Google. And that's how we've been able to get so many five-star 
reviews. Okay, moving on. Number six on our list. Guys, just be kind to people. You know the golden rule of life. Treat others as you would treat yourself. You know, this past season in 2023, we actually had to fire an employee because... Uh, so check this out. We sent out a guy to go do the house and the deck. And this is a, a like a second, I want to say, or third time that we've done this uh, this customer's house, right? So uh, we get a call. The customer was really upset, like really, really, really upset. And so I went out there, and what the situation was was the, the woman had like a bunch of wicker, wicker furniture. You know, wicker is like really light. And uh, so anyway, when, when the guy was doing the deck, the customer was like, oh, do you need me to move the, the are you going to move the furniture so you can pressure wash underneath the furniture? And uh, and our, our technician was like, oh, they don't pay me to move furniture. If you, if you want that done, you're going to have to move it yourself. Just like that. Wow. I was like blown away. Guys, I was blown away. That's so rude. And I talked to him and he confirmed it. He's like, yeah, you don't pay me to move furniture. I was just like... I mean, I, I didn't even have any words. So, you know, we let that guy go. The bottom line is, you know, be kind to people, man. Like, like what are we doing? You want to treat people the way that you want them to treat you. So just be kind to people. Enough said about that. Uh, number seven on our list is going to come with a little bit more time, okay? I understand that. But you have to be knowledgeable. Guys, everybody wants to deal with with a professional not a chuck in a truck right they want to deal with a true professional so you know be knowledgeable know your chemicals know your procedures know you know what it is that you're doing now what's great is you know you guys are watching this video and other videos you know you go back to my archives my library guys we cover all of the topics you got to remember the the mr bubbles channel is a how-to channel it's a power washing academy a trade school if you will right so you want to make sure that you watch all of the videos and then just knowing stuff is not enough you got to go out there and apply the knowledge right so you know um you're, you're going to learn a lot not just my videos but you know in general you're going to be able to go on youtube and learn a lot of these things and then just go out and practice them and then you know ask questions guys reach out to people have a network uh you know around you and reach out and then Communicate the things to the customers, you know, let them know the different bacteria. let them know what the procedures are, let them know what soft washing is, you know, so educate your customers. Like I recently ran into a customer, they didn't know that roof, uh, roofs could be washed. So, you know, I educated them on the process and, and, and how it works and they hire us and it was a $1,700 roof job. So anyway, highly recommend you guys in the, in the self-development arena, right? You become more knowledgeable of your industry. And the best way to do that a lot is just networking with guys within the industry. You know, like, a, a, you know, I've been promoting this, I don't know for how long now, you know, like the expo coming up, guys, you know, um, that that's a great networking event right there. The expo, uh, the, the Power Washing Expo is coming up. It's in Orlando. Orlando, yeah, it's in Orlando from the 22nd to the 23rd. I'll put the link down below for you guys. But, um, you know, all your major players in the industry are going to be there. Your uh, your content creators such as myself. You, you have other uh, very, very successful entrepreneurs are going to be there. Vendors are going to be there. So, anyway, uh, that's a great networking event where you can, you know, uh, network and, and be like on a... On, uh, you know, you know, uh, get their phone numbers and stuff like that of people and be able to reach out to uh, a network of people that you can go to for information, right? So again, just be knowledgeable of your craft. So number eight on our list is something that, you know, you, you talk about the small details in life, right? It's uh, what I call go the extra mile, go the extra mile. So you know, one of the things that we do as a company is we always try to do one or one, at least one thing uh, for the customer that is free. You know, and this is not something that's going to take us hours and hours to do because at the end of the day, you know, we're trying to run a company, right? But maybe it's touch up a, a, a mailbox, for example, 
or a small like a like recently we did a, a very small concrete pad like in the back of someone's house man the woman was so happy because her son i didn't know this lives in the basement and he, he'd go out there to smoke so this thing was all black but anyway so the bottom line is guys you know uh, go the extra mile for people. Uh, uh, the, the other day, for example, I pulled up to a house and I noticed that their cans, their trash cans was at the end of the driveway. So I brought up the trash cans for, um, you know, I go the extra mile, you know, home protection, plant protection, go the extra mile to do and to be super kind and friendly to people. So, you know, whatever it means for you and your company, just make sure you go the extra mile. Do look for one, one small thing every day. In, in every job that you go to that you can make uh, the person's life a little bit easier by by you going that extra mile number nine on our list is something that is actually underrated but yet very important it's what I call instill confidence so here's the deal everybody wants to when they hire you right or they hire a company they want to hire a company that they they can trust right and have confidence in so you know when when and when we pull up to a house whether it's myself or our leads you know you want to you want to you want to let the customer know that they're in good hands so you know we send things like um, and i mentioned this before with you guys you know we send customers a pre-wash checklist for example and you know if you guys want that i can email that to you but uh but, you know, in this pre-wash checklist, we pull up, we let people know, hey, can you move that car? Hey, I need you to do this. And so, you know, we're coordinating with the customer. So the customer from the get-go, you pull up, you pull up in a, in a professional image equipment, you know, with your equipment, with your vehicle, you're wearing uniform, and you're knowledgeable about what you do and what, what, the, what the procedures are of your job. And so you're coordinating your customer, right? So the customer knows, hey, I can just go inside the house this guy knows what he's doing. Let me just get out of his way. People, remember this, guys. People, customers, they want to do business with people they know, they trust, and they like. So make sure that you're instilling that confidence in people that you are a true professional. And finally, number 10 on our list, guys. Communication, right? What's what I call communicate effectively. Make sure at every stage of the process, right? From the phone call, the initial phone call, to sending them the estimate, to getting the estimate, to doing the job, and then to the follow-up, make sure that you're communicating effectively to the customer. That's why, for example, one of the things that we have, I've mentioned this uh, a couple of times to you guys, is that for every customer, to every customer, we send a service agreement, right? Via text or email. And again, I will email you this agreement. No problems, guys. It's the agreement. We've been using this thing for like five, six years now. So this agreement specifies exactly what it is, what we're doing, uh, how much it costs, and the forms of payment, right? So like, for example, it'll say, you know, house wash. Or this is what the house wash includes. Bam, 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 bam. And these are the forms of payment. So it's got some stipulations in there. This is going to protect you and protect the customer. Like, I'll give you guys a great example. I remember I went to do a job, and uh, I was just there to do the house wash. And the customer's like, oh, let me move my car, you know, since uh, you're going to do the driveway. And I was like, oh, I mean, it's the driveway's not on my docket. And he's like, no, 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 you're supposed to do the driveway. So we go back and forth, and then I showed him the text, and he was like, oh, you know what? I was getting quotes from other companies. I never even asked you guys about the driveway how much do you charge to do the driveway and and we were like oh you know we did the drive i think it was like 250 or 275 whatever it was at the time but the bottom line is you know in our service agreement it didn't say anything about driveway it just said we were there to do a house wash and he agreed to it and this is going to protect you it's going to protect them and so you know you want to communicate things effectively to your customers the other thing is about moving cars you know if uh, we, we send them a pre-wash checklist, but if the car's on the driveway, we have them move the car. You know, you don't want to get chemicals on people's cars. And so, you know, we're communicating constantly to, to people. Recently, I went to do a job a few months back, and this woman had two, three windows that were open. We don't want to get chemicals inside somebody's house, right? So, you know, knock on the door, communicate to customers. Communicate to customers also when you're doing upselling. You know, you think their basement stairwell needs to be done or you know, uh, or, or whatever needs to be done. Maybe it's their gutter cleaning. But uh, you want to constantly communicate and keep your customer in the loop of what's going on. So 
if you do all these th 10 things, guys, I promise you, and, you know, after a while, it becomes very repetitive, and it just turns into a habit, and that's where you want to be. Now, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention to you guys, I've been talking about this in all my videos, guys. Um, my 100th episode is only a few episodes away. This is a huge milestone for me. When I first uh, started my uh, YouTube channel, this was like one of the things I dreamed about. I was like, oh, man, I can't wait to get to 100 episodes. And uh, we're almost there. And I want to celebrate that by uh, letting you guys in on the fun. And the way I'm going to run my 100th episode is I'm going to answer 10 questions from you guys, my listeners, right? And all you got to do is in the comment section below, write whatever question like that's burning a hole in your mind. And, uh, you know, I'm going to pick the top 10 questions. So make the questions really interesting, guys, because I want to answer some really complex and some crazy questions that, you know, we haven't we haven't really talked about on the channel. And then obviously I'm going to put your name on your question here on the screen. So uh, it's a great way for me to celebrate that with you guys. Because, I mean, where would the Mr. Bubbles channel be without you guys? You guys are the ones that are supporting supporting the channel and you're sharing this uh, out there and helping me push this content to a wider audience. And I really appreciate that. But, uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I uh, really, really appreciate you guys uh, coming to my channel and watching this uh this how-to video and um i really really recommend you guys watch the next one as well guys in the next the next episode we're actually going to be down streaming another house i know you guys love those down streaming videos so but uh but yeah also i mentioned this you know uh email me guys i got the service agreement i have the, the what is that thing called the 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 pre-wash checklist i'll email that to you guys i absolutely love it when you guys email me and I do answer all of my emails. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bubbles out.